Dad, I need to buy some items for Halloween. Got a list? Yes, here it is. Well, well, where can I find these? Zombie eye patches, monster paratroopers, eyeball glasses, monster eye bounce balls, plastic skeleton. You can get them all at the supermarket. Well, if they're too expensive, I'm afraid we might not be able to. Well, I checked the prices. Zombie eye patches are cheap. Just $2.43. Monster paratroopers are $1.74 per piece. And eyeball glass costs only $3.24. Monster eyeballs are priced at $7.63. A plastic skeleton costs $12.34. Why don't you approximate those prices and tell me what the total cost is? How approximate should that be, Dad? Approximate to the nearest dollar. Hmm, approximation is tricky. Sometimes approximate value is less than the actual value. Sometimes it is more than the actual value. If it adds up to a lesser value, I might have to spend some of my money. Well, do I have to approximate each price to the nearest dollar and add, or do I have to add everything and then approximate it to the nearest dollar? Which method would be profitable for me? Well, what should he do? Is it better for him to approximate after addition or addition after approximating the price of each item? Well, it all depends on the actual prices. This lesson will help you find the answers. After the lesson, you should be able to conclude with confidence that approximation after addition will always account for a discrepancy of less than $1. Approximations are what we rely on all the time. In most situations in life, we rely on approximate values. Have you seen anyone mention a weight of someone to an accuracy of a tenth of a kilogram? Isn't it awkward if someone were to say, my weight is 60.2 kilogram? However, if you were to buy gold for example, you would be worried about a difference of one gram since gold is very valuable. Let's look at a simple example, shall we? Can you calculate 6.002 multiplied by 3.94 over 1.96? Even though you cannot state the exact answer, you may be able to calculate it approximately and get at 12 by noting that 6.002 3.94 and 1.96 is fairly close to 6, 4 and 2 respectively. So the answer cannot be much different from 6 multiplied by 4 over 2, which is 12. In fact, the correct answer is 12.0652, which is not far away from the approximate answer. However, we took 6, 4 and 2 as approximate values, intuitively without any mathematical basis. In our course, we learn two ways of presenting approximate values to a given degree of accuracy.